So today, boys and girls, we're going to read from our Bible study book, Noah and the Ark. And this comes from the story in Genesis chapter 6 through 7. So sorry to interrupt. Is it okay if I listen today? Well, of course it is. I'm happy to have anybody listen. All right. I'll just sit here and be quiet. Well, you can ask some questions too. Oh, that would be great. Thank you. Obedience, punishment, and promise. In the generations after Adam, men lived to be very old and had many children. Therefore, the earth quickly became populated. But over time, the people became more and more wicked and did not obey the Lord. The Lord looked down on earth and saw that men planned to do what was good for themselves and not for the Lord. So this made the Lord very sad as he looked at what he had created and had called it good. He decided to send a huge flood to cover the earth with water and destroying everything and everyone living on it. Yet the Lord noticed there was one man's family whose hearts were not wicked. This man was named Noah. <laughs> That's right, Amy, Noah. Noah walked with God and was obedient to him. The Lord spoke to Noah and told him his plan to cover the earth with a flood. He knew Noah would be obedient to him, so he told Noah to gather gopher wood to build an ark large enough for Noah's family and some of every kind of animal on earth. The ark was to be very tall and very, very long with a large door for all the animals to enter and a window at the top floor. When the ark is built, I will bring floodwaters to destroy everything on the earth. But with you, Noah, since you have been faithful to obey me, I will make a promise to you and keep your family safe from the waters. Work to build the ark and gather food for your family and the animals. The Lord instructed Noah. Noah was obedient in everything the Lord told him to do. It had to have been amazing to hear God's voice like that. Well, I would imagine so. I mean, I hear God's voice a lot. Me too. Well, then you know what it's like. Yes, but when I hear him, I don't see a big bright light like that. Yeah, I don't always see a big bright light like that either, but I hear God's voice and I hear the Holy Spirit speak. Yes, me too. So when the ark was completed, the Lord then told Noah to gather seven pairs of every clean animal and two of all unclean animals and seven of every kind of bird into the ark. I always thought that it was two animals, two by two, you know, like the song. The animals, they came two by twosy twosy. Yeah, I, I hear you. I understand what you're saying. But no, it really wasn't that. It was two of all the unclean animals. What's the difference between the clean and the unclean? That's a great question. So if they have a split hoof like a pig does, then we're not they were not to, to eat that kind of food. So those animals would only come into the ark two by two, but all the other animals, the clean animals, would go in by sevens. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, especially since I didn't even know it was that. When all the animals are inside, I will cause it to rain for the first time for 40 days straight. Everything on earth will be swept up in the flood and be destroyed. The Lord told Noah. Noah was very old when he finished the ark, 600 years old. You're pretty young compared to that. Thank you, Amy. You're welcome. Yet he gathered all the animals God told him to gather, his wife, his three sons, and their wives, and entered the ark for a long journey. Then God himself shut the door. He did? He sure did. How did he do it? I don't know. I wasn't there, but I would imagine the hand of God is pretty large. He probably did it with a finger. Wow. Okay, so here's some questions. Why was the Lord sad with what he had created? Well, I think he was sad because the people were disobeying him. That's right. How many different kinds of animals did Noah gather on the ark? Oh, he had seven pairs of every clean animal, but two pairs of the unclean animals and seven of every kind of bird. Very good. You were paying attention. Yep. I love the Bible. I do too. These are stories from the Bible. How many people were on the ark and would be saved from the flood? Oh, I think. It was Noah and his wife and his sons and their wives. That's right. Very good. 
And they had a long journey, didn't they? Yes, they did. All right, Amy. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening. And thank you, boys and girls, for being here. We will be back together again. But in the meantime, always remember, touch the goodness. Bye. Your family can grow with this program series called Bible in Stories. And we'll make sure that the link is below. If you're looking for exciting Bible curriculum for your K through third or your fourth through sixth graders, Fetch the Goodness has just what you're looking for. It comes with puppets, screenplays, animations, and so much more. Take a look in the description below. And don't forget, always subscribe.